All right. Hey, sorry, I'm back. Did not know that there was a 15-minute time limit on Screencast-O-Matic. Now I know. I won't go longer than 15 minutes. And to be honest, you're probably not excited that uh, I went longer than 15 minutes. But anyways, I got a few more things here for you. Um, we were finishing up in that last video about beautiful math. Look out for instances in the play where math is a thing of beauty, like a painting or a sculpture. Um, or a work of art or a sunset that numbers have that particular magic as well. I think I was talking about prime numbers uh, They play an interesting role in the play prime numbers are divisible by one of themselves and mathematicians find them particularly interesting um, number two Big theme in the play is the divide between genius and insanity uh, the Venn diagram of the two if you will and I think even though they seem very far apart Apart, there are some things that uh, are interesting that are similar about them. One, that my friends who are incredibly smart um, about one particular thing feel somewhat challenged by communicating their ideas to somebody like me. <laughs> I have a really good friend who's an amazing mathematician, and when I ask him about his work and what he's been doing, he starts talking and it's just right over my head. And I can see in his eyes there's a disappointment that I can't understand what he's saying. It's not just me. If you're really, really intelligent and really smart about one particular thing, sometimes it, there's a challenge to find somebody to communicate that with. And I think that can be true of mental illness as well, where you see the world differently than everybody else. And the challenge of communication is strong. Now certainly there's there's a difference between genius and insanity, but if we look at some of the geniuses we've had in our lifetime and in lifetimes in the past, there were they were people that were passionate, but also perhaps struggling with mental stability. And this play throws those kind of two things together. There is a loneliness and an isolation to genius, like I was saying. Somebody who knows something really well but can't find somebody to express it to and how isolating and how lonely that might be to the point where you might not want to express it because of the loneliness that it creates. Inheritance is a big part of this play. What we inherit physically from our family, uh, clothing, furniture, houses, land, but also what we inherit mentally from our family, what skills we might get what emotional abilities we might get from our families and finally this is a family play we're talking about two sisters and a father figure and so this is a, there's a family dynamic that plays a huge role in this um, there are differences between the sisters and how they deal with their father and that's a part of this as well so look for those big themes and those big ideas as you're reading and finally, I'm just going to say I hope you really enjoy this play this is usually kind of reviewed as the thing that students like the most I got a lot of great feedback um, and some critical feedback about the short stories. I think this is a fun play to read. The plot moves pretty quickly. The characters are really interesting. There's humor in it and there's sadness in it. There's some really interesting ideas. So all the best this week. Sorry for going longer than 15 minutes in my lecture. I won't do it again. And um, all the best. Take care out there.